It looks sick, guys. Look at that. Like, look at that gap. Wow. And then uh, on the other side, look at this. Wow. Like, a little bit, but not much. It's better than before, but... All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. Look at this prelude. We're back again. We're gonna be... I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do in this. So I kinda start working on this side already. But uh, uh, I'm gonna show you on this side here, it's way better. Um, there's a little gap right there. The gap. I'm gonna be fixing that gap. So before I uh, put this bumper, I did the spacer on the rebar across. There's like, you put washer, two washer on this side and Two washer on that side to uh, close the gap. It still kind of sag down. If you move up the bumper, it closed the gap. You know, so um, online videos and forum is saying put a spacer washer on those rebars. And um, I did put washer, but I guess not enough washer. So. There's another option here. I'm gonna show you show you guys. Uh, first, we're gonna be taking this front bumper fascia off and uh, show you what's what's going on. And uh, see the gap is just really bad. It's not it's not a Honda spec at all. You know, there's a gap right there, and of course, gap right there. I don't like that. You know, for my ability and the way I work in the garage here, I could do better than that. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and what needs to be installed and what's missing. So, let's get started. Here we go. All right, guys. So there you go. Uh, the front facer bumper is just hanging loose. Some of you guys Hondas prelude out there see what's wrong with this picture. There's something missing. Something missing on this picture, guys. So comment below right now and what is missing on this uh, on this part. There's always something like this that's missing that it's not working properly because I have that gap in between the fender and the fascia bumper so while you guys thinking what's missing I'm gonna reveal to you guys what is the answer so like I said Honda owners especially Prelude know what exactly what I say what I meant and this is what I got BAM that's that foam absorber this is what I picked up today from the Honda dealership and I picked up two because there's only two available I don't know uh, he said only two available at the warehouse in Canada I don't know what it mean by two like could probably have more in the U United States but I got the last two left and I picked it up. This is pretty expensive, it's like 120 bucks a piece. That's a part number. So we're gonna be installing this right here so that the space in between the 
fascia bumper and this impact bar the space on there this will fill up the space and when the bumper will sit nice and flush against the fender and all around the other side so you don't really need to take out the whole bumper you know you just uh, work on the top and it should be easy to uh, install so let's go uh, do this let's uh, do a installation on this uh, absorber all right guys so uh, first we're gonna find out which way this is gonna go could be like that or like this That's the right way. Or it could be like this. I think it goes like this. It looks it looks nice and flush. Get you guys really close up. I don't know if it goes like that. It's nice and flush. We'll give that a try. See, here, see there's a little bump right here, a hump, and then down here is nothing. So let's do this. I'm gonna give this a try and uh, see if this one work. All right, let's put the bumper fascia back on. Well, it looks okay. It's not bad, it's not bolted in yet, so. So far, so far, that's how it looks. Let's bolt it down and see the final result. Check this out, guys! Look at those kids. They're putting this toy together. Oh my God! You guys are awesome. Yeah, just tighten up. Holy cow! Look at those pit crew. Three pits working on one vehicle. You guys putting the roof together? Oh no! You did it too early. No. Okay, go. Awesome, guys. Awesome work. Sorry for uh, their uh, losing lights. Look at that, guys. It's a good gap. It looks sick, guys. Look at that. Like, look at that gap. Wow. It looks sick. And then uh, on the other side, look at this. Wow. Like, a little bit, but not much. It's better than before, but nice looking that foam absorber helps big time that foam absorber is the one that fixed this gap so if you guys have that problem yeah do the impact absorber put a spacer on there i put two uh, washer on this side and two on that side maybe it's better to put three and then make sure that absorber is installed and that's it guys signing out it's getting dark thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you again on the next video <laughs> oh my god you guys gonna assemble this vehicle look at this look at those hands going look at those hands so fast training how to use the screw screwdriver right merrick are you are you fast doing this okay merrick now yeah, we're gonna do the other side. Look at this, lots of screws everywhere. Put the roof. Here, hold this. Put the roof, yeah, put the roof. Like that. There you go. Line, line up the bolts. Yeah. Jassy's right there. Go, Jassy. And then Abby's right there, working on that bolt on the corner. 
Good job, guys. And then Merrick's gonna be working on the back. Wow. So you turn it to the right, okay? So tight. Yeah, like that. Good job, guys. And then London's over there helping. London, are you helping? Good job. Good job, guys. Pet crew. The pet crew is here. Okay, you guys gonna help me doing doing the Honda Prelude over there? Okay. The big car. Okay. All right. Good job. All right, we're gonna be signing out. Say bye to everybody. Bye. -bye.